All right, in this uh, tutorial here, we're going to be uh, talking about uh, looping. So we're going to get a little loopy here. But uh, if you didn't know, we're doing some basic uh, programming in Python, but we're kind of focusing on more of uh, more on mathematics. So we can uh, utilize the stuff that we learn and uh, work some of these courses that I've got for you. Um, You'll be easily, you will easily understand calculus by uh, doing this approach, I promise. Anyway, first thing we're going to do is we're going to print out a sequence of numbers. And we're going to use this function here, h of x. This is something that we used uh, earlier. And we'll just continue to use this since it's written in the code. And the domain here that we're going to be using uh, for this particular example, however, we are going to change this up. Um, is 0 to n. So in this particular case, n is 3. And you're going to get uh, 0, 1, and 2 is what's going to actually be plugged in here. And there's a reason why we start with uh, 0. So when it says 3 here, we count over 1, 2, and 3. Okay. All right. Well, let's look at the code. And let's see. Well, I've actually got the code written out down here in the bottom. But um, I don't like to do this, but I guess we'll just we'll, we'll run through it. So I went ahead and called define my custom function here uh, as the same as that example that I just showed you and went ahead and called it s of n. Now this that you may uh, that I haven't talked about yet, what this is going to do, it's going to uh, loop through a range of numbers. And if this were a three here, the range is going to be 0, 1, and 2. Okay, so if this is a 3, and you're gonna, that would be a 3 in here, the range of 3, you get out the numbers 0, 1, and 2. And so in other words, I will be assigned 0 for the first one, and then they'll take that I and plug it into the function, and we'll assign that number to Y, and then we'll print it out. Right. Um, I guess the best thing to do is just run this program so I can show you. And this is extremely useful. So, of course, I wouldn't be showing you something that wasn't extremely useful. How good would that be? All right, let's see if I can get this thing on the screen down here. Oh, man, wasting my time. And of course, I want to get it on the screen. So pull it up. Uh, uh, what's going on here? Okay. We defined our function as s, and let's go to 4. So this would be 0 to 3. And there it is. So we plug 0 in the function, we get negative 1 out, plug 1 in the function. Oh, do you remember what the function was? The function. You know what? Let's go into the code here and let's print up here. Now you notice in this white space, we need to get to about right here. Let's go ahead and print the function out. So do that. And it's um, h of x. So we can remember what this function was. And I believe it was just x minus 1. All right. Okay, there we go. Let's save. Let's do this again. Run. Okay. Um, let's actually get the whole thing in there. All right, S of 4. There you go. How, how nifty is that? So if you plug 0 in, you get negative 1 out. If you plug 1 in, you get 0 out, you plug 2 in, 2 minus 1 is 1, and 3 minus 1 is 2. Wow, that's amazing. So that's going to be extremely, uh, extremely helpful later on in the story. Should we do any more of these sequence problems? Yeah, I guess we should. Let's look at another example. We're going to go ahead and just use this same, uh, same function. Now you're probably wondering, where is h? Well, 
in the same module here, or in the same file, I guess I should say, that remember we defined our functions earlier in a previous video. We defined f, h, and g. And so therefore it's just a whole lot easier just to use these once we've defined them. All right, scrolling back down here, cover that up. This time what we're going to do is we're going to change this range out. Instead of starting at zero, let's do this. And actually, let's go up in here in the argument and add, uh, add some other arguments. Then we'll call it parameters. I don't know. That's what the book says. <laughs> some books I read anyway. Okay, arguments, parameters, whatever you want to call it. All right, um, we're going to let this be the starting point. So let's let let's call uh oh can't call it we'll call it anything you want I suppose. Uh we'll call it X. How's that? We'll call that the uh let's call it B for beginning. Alright, comma. Okay. We'll call this the beginning and you know what? Let's even do this because we might even okay. We might want to uh, reassign that but uh, we'll just go ahead and do that. And then N would be our ending, would actually be the ending, and we could actually trick this thing. Um, if I put 4 in here, then I'd want to do 4 minus 1. Let's, let's try something out here. Okay, uh, this is going to be B, comma, and let's do n minus one. Let's see how this works out. All right, let's run this. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute, hopefully. Uh oh, non-default argument follows default argument. That well, was something they didn't like about something. Uh, hmm. B equals one. Um. Huh. I don't know. Well, let's try this. Let's try this. I thought that might work. Hmm. That's odd. Okay. Um. All right, let's start at one and go to six. Oh, oh, yeah, one go to six, and we went to four because we okay, one, two, three, and four. Let's go back. Let's go plus one. Maybe that's what we're trying to do here. <laughs> trying to do we're just experimenting around all right okay so this this looks better we're going from one to six and as you can see we plug a one in right plugging six in six minus one is five okay this looks better we're going from one to six and there you go now we can actually add steps even into this range Let's try doing that. We'll add a step of two in there. Let's hit that. Let's see what happens here. Um, I hit a step of two. Let's see what happens. Okay. Plug one in. Yep. Then stepped it to three, and then three went to five. And of course, we can't go to six because, well, steps of two. All right. That's cool. Okay, so we could actually even add an, an additional parameter up here to actually change this number too if we wanted to. Okay, um, there's a lot of things you can do with this this n, the n right here, i n, you know. All right, we'll talk about some other stuff later.